Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey you guys, happy Saturday. I hope you guys are doing good today. So I wanted to come out here and shoot a few videos, but before I get started, I want to let you guys know because I get the same questions over and over again. People ask me all the time, you know, who does my hair, where did my wig come from, my lipstick, my look. If you guys wanna know what type of lipstick or lip gloss I'm wearing, all of this information, this beautiful green, I'm loving it, that's why I'm wearing it again. I thought the look and the whole green came together so well in the last video. I decided to go green once again. So if you guys want the info on that, Everything will be down below in the descriptions. Our channel is growing, and I say our because it's not just my channel. It's you all's channel as well because you guys have helped it to become the channel that it is today, honey. I got thousands of people sipping tea and having a good old funky time in the comment section, okay? So I know with that, a lot of people have been reaching out to me, you know, about advertising and sponsorship deals, and this is such a blessing because now I can make more content and not really have to worry about YouTube demonetizing any videos. They're still hitting me, but not as hard as they used to be and because people are coming through with the advertising it's definitely helping so if you are interested in any advertising packages any sponsorships of any specific videos make sure you guys contact me all of that information will be down below so thank you to all the advertisers who have reached out to me so far so they definitely will be implemented into the video so I thank you guys for all the support we will get to a million subscribers by hook or crook okay so anyways I know why y'all are here honey okay I know why you guys are here because you guys kept tagging me yesterday I was busy getting things ready for this tea party oh and by the way if you guys have not signed up contact me so I can get you that private link we only have about 50 spots left a lot of people registered so this party's about to be lit honey okay so I cannot wait till June 1st but anyways I know why y'all are here y'all wanted to know what I thought about the whole DJ Khaled situation honey so if you guys do not know honey DJ Khaled yes mister and another one he was the number one trending topic yesterday on social media when I tell you everybody was dragging him so when I got onto social media and I logged on to Twitter I seen him trending worldwide and I'm like oh my god please don't tell me DJ Khaled's big ass done had a damn heart attack you know what I'm saying he's the only person I damn know that works out every damn day and don't lose a damn pound how does that work DJ Khaled you can do it you can do it all that talk you talk let's do it shut the fuck up I ain't like you I don't need uh, you in the background Yo, talking chill. shit for me to work out chill man I need to work out without you talking Go shit somewhere. calm down anyways he wasn't trending because of any health issues like Rick Ross I eat pears now and shit like that. Shout out to all the pear. He was trending because he did an interview on Friday with The Breakfast Club. And in this interview, I don't know like who woke up in the morning and said that they wanted all this information from DJ Khaled. Because you know, when I get up out of bed, my first thing is not to think about, hmm, I wonder if DJ Khaled ate his wife out. No, that's not my first thoughts. I don't know why he volunteered all this information, but what he had to say on The Breakfast Club was not only read damn dickless, it was just plain sad, okay? So if you guys have not seen the clip, I'm gonna go ahead and insert the clip here. I believe a woman should um, praise the man, you know, the king. You know, if you if you holding it down for, the, for your woman, I feel like the woman should praise. And, and the man should praise the queen, but you know, my way of praising is called, huh, <laughs> how was dinner? Um, you like the house you living in? You like all them clothes you getting? I'm taking care of your family. I'm taking care of my family. You know, putting in the work. So you're saying like, you don't go down? Yeah. Nah, never. All of that to say you don't go down? Come Cal on. You don't eat the box? Nah, Come on, Khaled. Oh, oh, you don't eat no nah. food, nah. I thought Hell that's what nah. hold you down was about. Nah, well, I don't. You know what I'm saying? Like, Never I, in life, or did nah, you try it and didn't nah, like the taste? I, I don't do that. I don't do that. I don't. Not even like for her birthday? Nah, listen. Christmas? She get, she get, she get, jeez. Jeez, Cali. I put in that work. My, my work is great. You know what I'm saying? Like, I do my but, thing. So now if she told you she don't do that, is that okay? I'm not. Nah, it's not okay. Because, <laughs> because you know what I'm saying? I'm and confused. It, so... Because, <laughs> You gotta understand, I'm the dawn, I'm the king. You know what I'm saying? And she's Everybody's the queen. Everybody's the king of that house, huh? She's the queen. Of course. So? I don't do that. Yeah. It's not fair. It's different rules for men. You know what I'm saying? You know, you gotta understand, like, you know, we, we, um, we, we you know, we the king. You know what I'm saying? So, we you know, there's some things that y'all might not wanna do or wanna do, it gotta get done. You know what I'm saying? I just can't do what you want me to do. 
so Angela Yee is asking him, you know, is it because you just don't want to eat out your wife or is that something that you just don't do? And he's basically saying that it's something he's never done. He just doesn't do it. He doesn't like it. So I'm like, okay, well, you know, everybody has their preferences, whatever, you know, certain things people won't do in the bedroom. I can't knock him for that. But then when it came to the subject of him receiving from her, he was like, oh, that's mandatory. I'm the man of the castle. This is my house. I take care of you, your family. You're living in this house. You're living this lifestyle. Or you're going to suck my dick. And, you know, that's what really bothered me. I don't care about him not necessarily eating her out. I feel bad for her, honey. You are in my fucking prayers. I don't know how the hell you do it, okay? You know, I can see if that's his choice. He doesn't want to eat her out. That's fine. But then for him to say that, oh, no, oral sex is fine for him to get it. And it's different for men than it is for women. Like, are you like you're full of shit, dude? You know, what I'm saying everything that came out of his mouth was just so rude, was so misogynistic. You know, what I'm saying. And then how do you expect to receive something and then not give back? And that's really sad. And I know damn well the only reason why she's putting up with that shit is because she's living a particular lifestyle. Let's keep it real. Let's keep it 100. If this was DJ Kareem, okay, who was a struggling hood booger DJ, probably making $100 a show, you know what I mean? If that, nobody really knows him. This is just his dreams and goals and aspirations. Trust and believe she would bounce, okay? No female in her right mind is going to be dealing with lackluster sex, okay? So I'm supposed to be sitting here giving you all this head, making you feel good, but then when it comes to you reciprocating and making me feel good, it's a no-go. No female will be putting up with that unless the man has money. He can get away with those type of demands. Why? Because he's DJ Khaled. Let broke-ass DJ Kareem try the same thing. He will find himself by his damn self, okay? Because I damn sure ain't going to be with nobody who's not damn sure willing to reciprocate. That's crazy, and that's selfish and you know the way he said it he almost sounded like he was just disgusted and it's sad because people drag his wife all the time people are always going in on her looks and they're saying you know he's stupid for being with her you know look how she looks look at all the beautiful women that he's around and I think that's sad I do like his wife I think they have a really cool relationship from the outside looking in but now that I know about what's going on in their bedroom I got to give both of them the side eye especially him but you know people go in on her all the time so why give people ammunition to disrespect your wife even more I I was seeing comments online talking about, well, she looks like she stinks. I wouldn't eat her out either. You know, damn well, he's eating out them thoughts and them Instagram models. You know what I'm saying? His wife looks all old and withered. You know, that's probably why he don't want to eat her out because she, you know, because of her looks and stuff like that. So, so he basically created all of this mess with him saying what he said on The Breakfast Club. Now he's created a situation where people are now dogging his wife even more. Like, not only is she not so-called, you know, attractive, you know, what the trolls tell her, but now her own husband won't eat her out. And I think that he really should have thought about that before he went onto that platform and started saying that it was just really rude and it was disrespectful damn it nobody wanted to know any fucking way dj khaled i don't care what goes on in your bedroom he acts like he's shaped like the rock or some shit i don't i, I mean never once have i ever been like i wonder how dj khaled puts it down that has never entered my mind but the rock yes that's entered my mind you know what i'm saying but not dj khaled so for him to be so arrogant about the situation and so you know it's my way or the highway and she has to suck me off but i'm not gonna do that men are different from women i was just totally turned off by the conversation when i tell you social media had a field day with this entire situation it was a hot damn mess i want you guys to go ahead and try these comments Comments, these tweets and what folks had to say. Check this out, and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. Jesus. Just try a little taste. Don't just stare at it, eat it. <coughs> Fuck's sake, man, you amateur. I can't, I can't. <coughs> motherfucker, I eat everything. I eat the pussy, I eat the butt, I eat every motherfucking thing, motherfucker. 
Honey, so you guys just saw the comments, the tweets, and what folks had to say. So this entire situation is a hot damn mess. You know, I feel bad for his wife, but honey, if she likes it, I love it. She's living a lifestyle that most people can never even imagine. So I understand why she stays and she puts up with his misogyny. But I think what he said on The Breakfast Club was definitely a slap in the face. And it's definitely not fueling the trolls to go at her more and say things like, you know, you look like you stink. That's why your husband won't eat you out. He should have really thought twice about that before he put that out there. Because now you're just gassing up these trolls to clown your wife even more. So the whole situation, honey, was really damn ridiculous. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation concerning DJ Khaled refusing to eat his wife out, but yet loving to receive that damn head, okay? I was getting some head. Getting, getting some head. Well, everybody's getting some head besides damn DJ Khaled's wife and actually besides me because I'm celibate. But anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. <laughs> hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you're interested in my look and what I'm rocking, all of that information will be in the description box. And if you're looking for advertising or sponsorships, all of my contact information will be down below in the description box as well. Thank you so much for your support and stay tuned for the next video.